The Ego versus the Soul. When we look back to human beings' mystical and spiritual traditions, it's known that human beings are multidimensional beings. The human body comprises the physical body and the human personality, but there are a lot of various energies that come together to make up the human body. These energies have their different patterns and characteristics. The ego can be the human personality, while the soul integrates all the various energy bodies. This, therefore, means that if the energy bodies are not in equilibrium with each other, there is no possibility of having a soul. But the ego is always there. The ego has no interest whatsoever in things that pertain to higher levels of consciousness. Thus, it always tries to make sure it prevents the soul from using it as a tool to show love, compassion, or anything that might give good influence to change. Hey, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos. The ego only admires and applauds itself alone. It's always working in its own and will never want to work while another takes the glory. To a large extent, there are controversies if the soul truly exists. And it is believed that the only way you can ever know if the soul exists is by a demonstration in word and deed. The soul cannot be understood by theory, but must be lived and expressed. An ego-centered person will only think about himself and his needs. In everything he does, it's always about him and him alone. You cannot blame them because this is how far their thinking capacity can reach. Still, when a person believes to challenge the ego through spiritual development, that's the only time the soul will receive the platform to express itself. At this point, the ego is threatened, but never goes down without a severe struggle for supremacy. The ego feels isolated. The soul knows it fits together with everything. The ego collects. The soul builds. The ego obtains. The soul shares. The ego is infatuated with rivalry, while the soul works together. The ego expresses self-will. The soul says God's will. The ego is habitually adrift, consumed with the latest heave of desires, devices, trends, and the like. The soul has a crystal sense of meaning and resolution. Fundamentally, the soul is the observer or witness, the higher consciousness that watches the train wreck that is the ego. It's pretty unfortunate that in a world today, the ego is running rampant all over. Self-absorption, self-entitlement, Self-importance based on physical evidence such as money, influence, beauty, status, and a host of other irrational criteria leads masses to the land of adversity and despair. All the soul is worried about is being of service, loving others, shining light, treating every human being with the respect they deserve. This is the benchmark that can be used to measure the legitimacy of the soul and its existence globally. And any other method, way, or means will fall short in evaluation. I hope that you enjoyed the explanation. Please don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of subsequent updates. Thanks for watching.